Hi everybody. So do you guys want to talk some cotton yarn? Let's talk some cotton yarn. So today, well, at the making of the video, I'm not sure it will be uploaded though. It is a uh, two eight of 2024. It's February, and where I live in, um, <laughs> I live in South Central Illinois, and. February is our coldest month, but for some reason, it's been 60 degrees here. It's a little upsetting because winter is my favorite time. I, I mean, I want a good 12 inches of snow. I love to play in the snow. I'm never too old to play in the snow. So disappointing that it's so warm here at this time. I know a lot of people don't like winter, but I absolutely love it. I do. Uh, I mean, I'm like a, I would say a kid in a candy store, but you show me the, you show me the snow, it's like I'm at Michael's. I mean, I'm out there running in it and stuff, it's, and jumping in it and playing in it. I love it. But regardless of that, we're not getting any. So, so I have to start thinking about uh, February is going to be over, and then you know, it's nice out now. It's time to think about cotton yarns, because cotton yarns is what uh you know uh me in general and probably a lot of people cotton and bamboo type of yarns like to use during summer because it's it's cooler it's a cooler fiber uh versus using wool although i do love wool and i would probably use it anytime actually i do use it any time of the year but anyways i thought i would i went to webs if you guys are familiar with webs it's otherwise known as yarn.com they got all kinds of yarns. I mean, all, uh, yarns under the sun. And if you spend, like, I think $60, you get 20% off your order. And then I think if you spend $120, you get 25% off your order. That's, like, all the time. And sometimes they even have specials where you get 30% off. Anyways, I know they probably overpriced their yarn just to entice me with that sale. But, hey, it gets me. It gets me. Uh, so, I went to Webb's. And I picked out my favorite, I bought my favorite all-time cotton yarn. And then I picked out other cotton yarns that I had not had before. And I thought that we could go over them and hey, maybe I'll find another cotton yarn that is better than my all-time favorite. Because some of these I've never had before. I can't really remember what I bought, but I'm thinking, I don't know if I've had any of them. Maybe one other one. Well, there's only one way to find out, right? You gotta open, you gotta open that box up. Open it up. I know you're screaming at me right now. Open that box up back day. We don't care about what your, what your winner's like right now. <laughs> so, you're talking to us about weather. We want to hear about yarn. All right, all right, man. I feel you. I feel you. I got it. All right. So, I am pretty excited. I like to talk any type of yarn and this is I think it's all cotton unless I threw in a couple bowls of something that I thought was at a, at a good deal or something I don't know I don't know start telling me you know <laughs> it really is hard telling oh my I know that's not cotton right off the top but whoa ooh, it's beautiful I don't remember some of this ooh ooh okay I love to get yarns and I've never seen, never felt, never touched ever in my entire life, okay? And that is pretty much this entire box. I do know that my all-time favorite cotton yarn is in here, but there's so many other cottons. Will I find one to beat that? I don't know. That's what I'm excited about. So, um, oh my goodness gracious. Where to begin? Where do you begin? I guess I'll begin with this. A special gift for you, a hundred dollar wine voucher. Well, I'm not a drinker. That does me no good. I thought it was a hundred dollar gift card. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been nice? All right, all right. Ooh. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell that this is not a cotton yarn. And I think I remember buying this. Where is my invoice? All right, I'm just gonna pull it out and look at it because I've never had it before. Oh. Oh, I love a good red. Blood red and brick red. Those are my favorite reds. 
Wow, that is pretty. Okay, so this is Aloe Ray Kid Sparkle. I've never had this before. Oh, is that drop dead gorgeous? Here I am talking about cotton yarns. First of all, I pull out. It's not cotton. Like I said, there might have been some things that I just... That wasn't cotton and I thought I couldn't live without and this must have been one of them because if there's anything I love it's fuzzy a sparkly yarn Wow that is gorgeous and thin as could be okay mmm is that ever soft yes it's it's ever soft okay Ella Ray Kid Sparkle. So you can see that beautiful, beautiful brick red. The color is actually called Garnet. Color number three. It is a mohair blend with metallic. Well, we can definitely see that. That's beautiful. It's 38 acrylic, 31 nylon, 27 mohair, 4% polyester. It says that you can machine wash and dry it that's odd but it says that now it's classifying that as a number two weight all right well as soft as can be what's the yards on this stuff um it, surely it's got to be quite a bit i don't know because it's pretty thin two weight Am I missing it? Am I, I just can't see. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. It is. Whoa. <laughs> it's a 100 gram ball. It's 907 yards. Yeah, you, that's way thinner than a two, I would imagine. <laughs> 830 meters. So 907 yards. Cracky. What am I going to do with that? I have to find someone who likes to crochet with this thin stuff. Because I think that is going to make something beautiful so there we go they would if they're going to classify that as a two they're taking into account that fuzz on it my golly is that ever gorgeous is that ever soft my golly 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 let me get you a prize okay i'm back so these were uh 14.99 a piece i i really i got two of them i don't know why i got two i would think one should be sufficient to make something i don't know though since it's it is very very thin yarn but i can't get rid of it i i i, I know people that like to work with lightweight yarns i have to have something made out of it oh that's beautiful that's beautiful stuff so yeah 14.99 in piece excellent here i am saying we're gonna look at cotton and pull i i'm sorry i thought i threw in some things that weren't cotton i guess okay i don't i this doesn't appear to be cotton either but let's look at it Ooh. Okay, we got some Lena Grossa. And that is that. I'm not going to. Per I can't pronounce that. I'm just not good at pronouncing any dang thing. Um. So, yeah. Ooh, that is, that is pretty. And that is soft. And that is so not cotton yarn. But I... I think this is all that's not cotton. <laughs> um, so this is, you know, I showed you the name of it. I can't pronounce it, but that's what it looks like. Is that ever soft? Wow. Okay, well, where do I begin? Elena Grossa. It's made in Italy. It's a 100 gram cake. Here. <laughs> you know I got more than one. Come on now. <laughs> um, it's a 100 gram cake. It, oh my gosh, it, it, it is got a lot of cotton in it, but it does got wool in it too, which is just fine. That's just fine. Um, it's 70% cotton, 19% aversion wool, and 11% alpaca. 380 meters, so 440 yards or so, you know. Guesstimate. I'm off my game here, but uh at figuring up yardage at the moment <laughs> the collar is uh 404 wow so i think this was on sale because i got three of them three three of them for 23.40 
all three of them together were $23.40. Wow, what a good deal. I I think it was that it was that a piece. You know what? <sighs> Could have been a piece. I don't know. Just a me a second. No, that was all together. So there was seven something a piece. Nice, nice. So this is okay. I told you all the detent handle or shit. Of course, you don't do that. Um, it appears to be about a two weight yarn, um, and we got like over 400 yards here. So, uh, you know, I got close to between 12 and 1300 yards here. I know what I was thinking when I bought this. I was thinking that I would make a lightweight um, spring shawl or something like that because it appears to be about a two weight yarn. And yes, I would say that it's a sport weight number two. I think you guys would probably be in agreement with me on that. That's beautiful. Is it ever soft? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. My lights are flickering. I'm sorry about that. I don't even know what happened. It's really windy here. I'm sorry. I guess I don't have any control over it, but yeah, it's super windy outside today. Everything was blowing all over the place. That is so pretty. Look at the gray and how it goes off the yellow. I remember this and I remember thinking, man, that is a good, good deal for that. Um, yeah, they classified that as a sport, uh, sport weight, and it was on sale for $7.79 a cake. Now, it looks like they're all out of stock now except for two colors. The yellow is still in stock, but I don't know why, because the yellow is, was my first choice. I believe they were all in stock when I looked, and they have a pretty purplish blue one that's very pretty, and at that price, it would be excellent to go and purchase that. Wow. It is on sale, and since it's on sale, you don't get it. Is it? It doesn't fall into their category of you get like the twenty or the twenty-five percent off. That's only on full price items. But still, it's a good deal, man. I think seven seventy-nine, um, and you're getting uh, over four hundred yards. So for twenty, that's more. That's more than enough to make a very nice uh, drapey shawl and that's what i was going to do with it i would have enough to add fringe all around it if i wanted to for 23.37 i mean you pay you know you pay that much at like hobby some of them hobby kicks that they're not near as nice as this um as far as the way it feels this stuff says is remarkable some of the hobby kicks are like 40 dollars a piece i mean yeah granted granted i would say one of them does make a shawl but still i still say this is pretty <laughs> it's softer too that's pretty all right enough okay i think that's all i got it it was it was three quarters cotton so it counted okay it counted i couldn't pass it up what a good deal what a good deal okay what's that it has to be cotton or i wouldn't have got it okay so why don't we start with i'll just start with whatever i grab first okay this is Ella Ray Denim DK. All right. And you know, now I'm going to tell you, most of these yarns in here are going to be, I would say, neutral colors. Because I only bought a couple balls of each, enough to make summer brimmed hats. And generally when I make... I have a lot of them on my channel tutorials in case you're interested some of you know with wires and without wire wire brims when i make those cause i like to wear hats in the summer too um i make them out of cotton yarn and and with those type of hats most of the time i like to, them to be a neutral color they might not all be that but uh i'm gonna say most of them are gonna be probably pretty neutral and you're gonna be like why are they all just like colorless that's why because i only bought a couple balls of each so i could see which if there was one better than my favorite cotton, you know, just for fun, just for fun video. And then, uh, then I would make hats out of them for, you know, I'll do tutorials out of some of them this summer and whatnot for summer hats with brims. Okay, denim DK. I like the look of it. It's very pretty. It's a very beautiful color. Now you know they have other colors than what I got, but I just get the brown. This one's called Mocha Tint. Like, you know, Tinta Mocha. And uh, LRA, you know, it's not a bad it's not a bad brand. 
Um, it's the finest Egyptian cotton, 100% Egyptian cotton, 218 yards or 200 meters. You're going to want a machine wash but lay flat. So they are saying that this is a three weight yarn. Okay, let's check it out. Ella Ray, how's your three weight? I think your three weight passes my three weight inspection. Okay, so how does Ella Ray's Egyptian cotton feel? It feels Okay, when I classify cotton, in case you don't know, I have three classifications when it comes to cotton. I will say that it is kitchen cotton, meaning that um, I would only use it for things in the kitchen, such as wash racks or pot holders and things like that. I definitely would not wear it against my skin. And then I have what is known as a garment worthy cotton. That means that it's soft enough and it feels good enough that it's worthy of me making a garment out of and that it would feel nice against your skin. And then I have what I would call in the middle or mediocre cotton, which means it could go either way. You know, it's good enough. I would wear it against my skin. It would be okay. Um, and also, it's, you know, it, it would be fine. I would use it for the kitchen too, you know, because it's not the, like the best cotton ever, but it's still good enough, to, you know, to wear a, uh, sorry about my clock. It's still good enough to wear a garment out of. So what's this, what's this, what do we call, what are we going to classify this as? So it's a good DK weight. Um, this was on sale. They still they have some, like four colors left, but uh, for eight ninety nine a ball um, was uh, fourteen ninety five. So that's at the making of the video. I would don't think this is a bad cotton. I don't. I would consider it, you know, I'm not a huge fan of DK, but that's okay. We, we won't even take the DK in consideration. We'll just take the feel. The feel of that is, I'm going to call it, oh gosh, upper level mediocre. How about that? Upper level mediocre? That's a new one I just made up. So is it the softest cotton I've ever felt? No, it's not. But it is a very nice cotton, and it's definitely garment worthy. I mean, you, I would make a top out of it and wear it, of course. And I wouldn't even wear an undershirt if I didn't want to. You know, if I made a tee or something that was closed, you know. Um, so yeah, I would call it mid-tier garment worthy. Um, would I would I want to use this in the, in the kitchen? I probably wouldn't want to, but you know, I still would. Um, Mm. Okay, okay, I'm going to change it. I'm just going to change it to a garment-worthy cotton, okay? Is it the softest garment-worthy cotton I have ever felt? No, but it's definitely a garment-worthy cotton. I do, I, no, I wouldn't use it in the kitchen because the reason why I say I wouldn't use it in the kitchen is because I would think that would be a waste of a good cotton yarn because you can just go to Walmart and get some peaches and cream for like two bucks a ball and make some more shags out of that, you know, that stiffer cotton. That stuff's good for the kitchen, you know? You wouldn't want to waste a good garment-worthy cotton on a wash rag, you know? You want to make a nice garment. It feels good on your skin. That's why, that's why, that's why I say that. So, yes, yes, it's very nice. And, yes, it is a garment-worthy cotton. Nice job, Ella Ray. I love that. But for me, it'll probably be a hat unless I decide I love it so much I have to go buy more while it's still on sale. But I'll have to look at all the yarns first. But for now, that will be a summer hat. Now this one I saw and it was kind of intriguing to me, the way it looked. See that? The way it was spun. So this is by Mirasol. Um, U S U N is what it is. Usun. So this is a 92 cotton, 80 po 80, 8 polymide blend. Okay, it is a hand wash, lay flat. Um, here. It, it's a very pretty color. It's like a latte color, isn't it? I like that. I like that. It's a 100 gram ball, 330 meters or 360 yards. Um, and they're classifying that as a lightweight number three. Wow. Color number 1112. Well, let's get a price on that, shall we? It intrigued me. The uh, they got a lot of colors left in it. It was actually on sale too. It's normally nineteen ninety five, and they have it on sale for eleven ninety nine a ball. 
Okay, is it worth eleven ninety nine a ball? Okay. Let's see their three way. So this is a chain a spun cotton. And there is their three weight. I think that's a good three weight classification. Being chain spun gives it a nice stretch. That's a nice cotton yarn. I like that, I do. Um, now, you know, granted it is not 100%, but it is 92% cotton and 80% uh, polyamide. Uh, so definitely a garment worthy cotton. Um, I like this one. So of the two that I've opened, this one is the best so far. Um, I didn't really know what to expect with this one. The color of this one, I tell you, it's, yeah, 112. Um, they got lots of pretty colors. Beautiful, beautiful red. <laughs> you know I like to make hats out of red, but ooh, that would make such a pretty top. It being chain spun too makes it a nice lightweight cotton. I like that. Um, oh, that's that's nice. I look at the stretch on that chain spun. That's a nice cotton. Wow, pleasantly surprised by that one. And I don't think eleven ninety nine is a bad deal. Um, Three hundred and thirty yards. Is that what I said? Ah, the meter's 360 yards. I'm not certain why I got two, because one would have been enough for me to make a hat, but yeah, that's nice. I like that one a lot. I do. I'm going to set that over here. That's how I'm surprised by that one. <laughs> okay. Um, up next. Up next. It is so much fun to look at yarns. Let's see what we got here. This is Jody Long. Ooh. And now... Jody Long at Cottontails. Okay. So this is a very, very pretty gray, as you can see. Um luxurious soft cotton is what it says. Made in Italy. Um it's one hundred percent cotton, so it is a one hundred percent cotton. Um it's 150 meters or 164 yards. It is a 75 gram ball. All the color I have here is called elephant. Of course I had to get that. Elephant. Of course I did. Now this is not, was not on sale. So I did get 25% off of it. So regular, it's $13.95. Um, but I paid um like 11 is that right yeah like 11 bucks i guess a piece okay so let's look at this cotton let's see what weight they classify that at. i don't even know it doesn't even say on it what weight are you okay they're saying it's four weight it is a four weight yarn i'm gonna give them that four weight classification i'm gonna set this to the side if that's okay so i can get up a little closer to the camera so this is actually a blown cotton and uh yeah so if you don't know what a blown yarn is i've ex I, 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 will, I will explain it a blown yarn is, is is often often most commonly it's mistaken for a chain spun yarn but it is a bit different what it is is it is a hollow mesh tube but it is that is in chain link appearance but it's just a tube um, generally the tube is white or black depending on the yarn that or depending on the fibers that they're going to put through it so the hollow tube is then it's mesh and then the fibers are then blown through it that's why it's called a blown yarn and often with blown yarns you'll see fuzzies hanging out um, depending on how much fiber and the type of fiber that they blow through it it will depend on how many, how much fuzz hangs out of it. I love blown yarns too as well. Um, they they are also very lightweight, um, similar to a chain chain spun yarn. Now this cotton, I have to say, is extremely soft, very garment worthy cotton. Wow. <laughs> I so you know I'm not I wasn't really expecting any of this to be ex so extremely soft, but then again, you know why wouldn't I? I don't know why. I guess I'm biased towards. A certain brand of yarn which I have in this box um that's nice yeah I like that one a lot that that's that's worth what they're asking that oh yeah that's nice that's a nice soft cotton shoot it took that one out too and that's a nice soft cotton as well 
Wow. And they just keep getting better and better. That's so nice. That is soft. It's such a beautiful color. You know, I'm going to pick one of these. The softest one. I'm going to get more of them and make a top out of it. But the rest, I'll stick to making halves for it. This is still really soft, though. I mean, all of them are nice and garment worthy. This one was, it, you know, I said it was, I, in the beginning, you know, I'm like, maybe, but it is garment worthy. But now that I felt these two, it is in last place, but it's still a fine cotton, an all right cotton. That's nice. Yeah. I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for soft cotton, cottontails, not only for the adorable name, of course, but <laughs> the fill of it um, as well is beautiful. And it's a nice four weight yarn. I mean, it's not, they're not skimping you on the four weight. I don't think so anyways. I mean, looks, looks like a four. Nice. I like that. Okay. Nice. I love it. I love it. What the heck are these? Oh, gosh. Okay. I have a top five favorite brands of yarns. I do. I have a top five. And I will say that this brand right here, Rowan, does make my top five list of favorite yarns. Um, this is a uh, Rowan Cotton. Ooh. G-L-A-C-E. What's that little... I wouldn't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce anything. Um, this looks to appear to be a mercerized cotton. I'm not really 100% certain yet, but um, it is um, made with combed cotton. 100% cotton made in in Hungary. Gosh, why did they have to write it so small? I got good vision, but gosh dang. I'm just going to go right here and click on it so I can read it better. Give me just one second. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, well, Rowan is a very nice bread of yarn. And sometimes nice bread of yarns you have to pay a little bit a little bit more for, I guess. Um, this is $9.50 a ball. Yeah. But I did get the 25% off because it was not on sale. Um, they're classifying this as a DK weight. 115 meters or 126 yards now um it does not say that it's mercerized which is very surprising to me because it does have the look and the feel of a mercerized cotton if you've ever felt that that's what this looks and feels like it has a nice sheen on it the color is very very beautiful i love that olive color it's one of my favorite colors are green you know the avocado olive color green it's gorgeous it's gorgeous so they're classifying this as a dk weight well let's look at their dk weight here we go what do you ever you think on that i would say that's on the thinner side of a three weight but whatever um you know it is a small ball for the price how does it feel not like i would want it to feel i'm gonna say <laughs> um it's just not i think maybe when i looked at the picture it does not really look like it does in 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 the in the ball like it, it looks kind of like a nice soft cotton in the picture you know but pictures are always deceiving you never know what you're gonna get i guess that's the beauty of it and then when i opened it up i'm like man that looks like a moisturized cotton Mercerized cottons are not always, I mean, they're not always the softest, softest cottons. Sometimes they're, they're not bad, but I think that for the price, for the yardage, 126 yards, they're, they're saying it's a DK weight. I'm saying that it's like a very, very light DK pushing the sport, if you ask me. Um, and it, it. It just does not feel, ooh, you know, it, it's such a good brand, um, and it's expensive, and I would hate to say that it's not garment worthy, but to me, I would not want to wear this cotton against my skin, but I wouldn't want to make war tracks out of it because it costs so much, therefore, I would never buy it again. Sorry, Rowan. I do love you. You are one of my favorite brands, but this one just didn't make it for me. But that's my own personal opinion. It's not a cotton. It's too thin. Um, 
it's not a cotton that I don't think anybody would probably want to wear. Maybe some people, but I don't think really anybody would want to wear it against their skin. I wouldn't. But I mean, that's just me. Everybody feels things differently. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give that a, a no. That's uh, I. It's a kitchen cotton, but I wouldn't buy it for that because it's way too much money. It's a little overpriced cotton yarn. It's not worth what they want. Sorry, Rowan. But it is a very beautiful color. It's got that going for it, all right? It's got that going for it. Okay. I got uh, some more green in Hank form. What do we got? Cascade cotton socks. Why in the world would I buy that? Why in the world would I buy... Oh, the color is beautiful. <laughs> okay. The color is beautiful. Okay, so it this is Cascade Yarn is is not a bad yarn company. I always consider it kind of a in the middle of a yarn company. It's 89 cotton and 11 nylon. So it's not 100% cotton. It does have some nylon in it. That's because they're saying it's a sock yarn, and uh, you know a lot of sock yarns will have nylon in them. Um, and it is $11 a hank, um, but it was not on sale, so you get 25% off that if you spend so much. Um, the color that I have here is called guacamole. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And they're saying it's a sport weight. 433 yards here. Um, 396 meters. You know, what I was probably thinking with this is probably a summer shawl as well. So let's look at their sport. Why don't we look at their sport weight? There we go. I don't think that's bad sport weight, bad two weight. It's good, it's good. How does it feel? I'm gonna give it, you know, it's a garment worthy cotton. Is it the best? No, it's not the best I've opened today, but it's not the worst. Definitely not the worst. It's definitely a garment worthy cotton or sock worthy as what they have it, have, have, they have it labeled as, sock yarn. Um, you know, but just because of sock yarn doesn't mean that you have to use it for socks. You can use this for whatever your heart desires. And I think that this is a very, very soft and very nice, very garment worthy. What will I use it for? That's, that's nice. You're probably like, gross, quit rubbing it on you. Don't worry, I'm keeping it. I keep, I keeping it, so I'm rubbing it. <laughs> I'm sorry if I gross you out. Yes. Garment worthy, definitely. All right. Um, okay. Why? I, no, no. Okay, I got three of them. That's that's what I plan to do with it. That's what I was gonna do with it. It's it's going to be a. Uh, that's what I was thinking since I bought three. Was a shawl. That's exactly what I was thinking. Or some type of top, probably. Um, yeah. Cause uh, yeah. That's nice. It's pretty. Well, I was hoping that it would be soft enough for a top, I guess. But anyways, let's move on to um, this. Okay. We got some Pima cotton, huh? Pima cotton's my favorite. Um, but I've never had this Pima. It's got the bumpies. It's got the bumpies. This is Barco. Pima Soft with the bumpies. So, okay, sorry about my dog barking. I had to let my clan in here. So, um, so as you can see, it is it is bumpy, you know. Um, feels pretty good though, you know. Though I do love Pima Cotton. It is my it is my favorite. So it's 100% Pima Cotton. 1.75 ounces, 50 grams, 124 yards, 113 meters. A lightweight number three, huh? Ooh, hoo, hoo. here we go. So that's what they're saying is a three weight. I say it's a lighter side of a three, but still a three. Um, this was not on sale. It was seven fifty a ball, but I did get twenty five percent off of that. They do have some pretty colors, but I did just buy enough. Oh, they got lots of pretty colors. I did just buy enough um, in case just on the this you know, maybe I'd buy would make a hat out of this bumpy yarn. I mean, it's pretty soft. 
Okay, gosh, it's going to be hard to pick a softest one up in here. I'm going to tell you that. Very garment worthy. Do I like the bumpies? Not particular. Not particular. But you know what? It's not really the bumpies, I guess. It's just a twist on it. It's a loose. It's a looser twisted yarn. So I really wouldn't consider that the bumpies. Now, now, now that I look at it closer, it's just got a, a looser twist. Yeah, that's better. That makes it palatable for me. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. That's soft. I like that. My goodness, I got oh. <laughs> I sure hope none of these be out my favorite cotton. But man, there are some really nice ones here. Wow, that's nice. That's soft. Goodness gracious. That could be the softest one now so far. <laughs> so yeah, Pima Soft, seven fifty. But remember, I did get uh, by Barico. Um, and all this came from Webs. I did get twenty five percent off of that. So you can't beat it, really. Okay, nice. The color is called Slate. Lots of pretty colors, though. Ooh, gosh. Definitely would go back and get some other colors to make a top out of that. But uh, I think it's worth it. You know, it's, there's not tons of yardage in it, I guess. But um, it's so soft. You would love that. Oh, gosh, I wish you guys could feel it. And I never mean to make my videos so long. It's just, I like to talk yarn. I don't have anybody talk yarn with me, so anyways um what's this more pima <laughs> more pima well let's check it out then shall we more pima it is my favorite this is from plymouth yarns pima rhino made in peru I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to bring it up on my computer because some of these labels, I can just cannot read. I just cannot read them for some reason. Okay. So, the Plymouth uh, Rhino yarn here is $6.99. That's not on sale. So, you do, if you if you spend enough, you know, you would get 20% off if you spend the $60. Um... So, oh, it's not a 100%. It's it's 70% Pima cotton and 30% Merino. So we got some wool up in there. 109 yards, it's a 50 gram ball. Um, and they're classifying that as a medium weight number 4699. Let's check out their four weight, shall we? Okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I think that's a thin four too. That's on the lighter side of the four. Okay. You know, it, it, it does feel like a Pima. The color I have is number three. It's called light brown. Of course it is. Of course it is. It is, um, um, it does feel like a Pima cotton. It's not the softest Pima cotton I've ever had, but it's definitely a garment worthy cotton. It's a nice, it's a nice soft cotton yarn. Um, Six ninety nine, a hundred and nine yards. It's on the lighter side of the four, and it's not a 100%. It's a cotton merino blend. Um, definitely garment worthy. I, if you bought it, I don't. as far as the way it feels, I don't think you would be disappointed. It feels very good. Um, but I think that I would not buy this again strictly because I have felt nicer Pimas in my day. Although this is very nice. I mean, like I said, if you bought it, it wouldn't be disappointed. I don't think it's a bad price, especially if you get the, if you can get a discount off on it, on it. It's just, I felt better, but it's still really nice. It's, 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 it's good. You know, it's good. All right. It's good enough. I'm going to make a hat out of it this summer. How about that? <laughs> okay. Up next is Hank Form. Hank Form. Cascade Yarns Nifty Cotton. 100% cotton. Okay. Well. Let me bring it up. Let's bring up the Cascade Nifty Cotton. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. Pretty much just kind of... Okay. 100% cotton. 185 yards or 169 meters. 100 gram Hank. And they're saying that it is a worsted weight yarn, a number four. They got lots of pretty colors to choose from. Um, how does it feel, though, is the question. Well, let's look at their four weight first. 
Um, that is whatever you think it is. I would still say that is a light poor weight, if you ask me. Um, and as far as it, is it garment worthy? No. No, not in my opinion, it's not. I wouldn't uh, make a top out of it. I don't. I wouldn't. Um, I would consider that to be more shrag material. Um, and I think that it's overpriced. Even at 20% off, it's overpriced. They have it at $8 a ball on a regular. I mean, it's got good reviews, but I felt a lot of cotton in my day. And to me, I would use it for wash tracks. I felt much better than this. Mm. Yep. That's, that's my first one that went to the wash rag bin, isn't it? Well, that's okay. That's okay. And even though it's not garment worthy, and I said that I would use it like kitchen cotton, it will still make a good hat. You know, so that's still what I'll probably use it for. Um, it'll make a night nice, because it's, it's a little on the stiffer side of the cotton. I mean, it's not extremely stiff, but it's still it's stiffer than any of these that I've shown you right now. So it would still make a nice hat in a wired brim hat. So yeah, that's, I'll use it for that. It's pretty color, nice neutral gray. So that's what I'll use it for. Um, all right, let's move on. Oh my gosh. Back with they got some Noro. Noro! I do love Noro. Noro is a very controversial yarn, believe it or not, because you either love it or you either hate it and think that it's overpriced. I'm one of those ones who love it. But for me, it has a lot of, Noro has a lot of things going for it. If you're not familiar with Noro, Noro is made in Japan. Um, now, I'm probably going to speak a little highly of it because I am one of those ones that think it's worth every penny of what they ask for it. But you get those people who say, no way, it's not worth that. But as always, yarn is worth what you feel it's worth, not what anybody else feels like it's worth. All right, so it's always just about you. We don't care about what other people think. If you want to pay, whatever you want to pay for yarn, it's on. That's you, man. That is you and me. I I'll, I'll pay that much for this yarn because I think that it's it's nice. Um, so this is from Japan. Um, and this particular one, I can never pronounce the neural names. There it is. K-A-K-I-G-O-R-I. -I. All right. This is, oh, it's not 100%. Okay, it's 50 cotton, 30 silk, 10 viscose, and 10 polyamide. Okay. All right. Um, so, Noro um, is always a roving style yarn. So, number one, I, roving is my favorite. Um, and a lot of the times, Noro is, it uses a lot of wool, um, again, which is my favorite. But this one here, um, has no wool at all in it. You know, sometimes you find Noro's like that, and it's nice. Um, how does it feel? Whew. I love the flecks of color in it. You see that? It's a very beautiful, uh, Robin's Egg Blue, I guess. Uh, if you look at it, it's just kind of all different colors. But the main color, I would say, is like a Robin's Egg Blue. That's a pretty yarn. That's a pretty yarn. Um, is it worth the price if they want? Like I said, that's just, that's just, you know, that's you. That's on, on the person buying it. I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that. Only you can tell yourself that. Um, they they classify this as a three weight yarn. Now as now when when it comes to Noro, it being a roving, it will go from thick to thin. All right, but generally it'll level out. There's our three weight. You call that what you will. I'm gonna call that an okay three weight. Um, yeah. It's so pretty. How's it feel? It feels fine. It does. It feels fine. It's not the softest one up here, no. But there's, it's still garment worthy. Yes, it's definitely garment worthy. Um, I would definitely make a top out of it and wear it. 100% without a doubt would I make a top out of this and wear it. Now, there are some Noros I would never make a top out of. Some of them are extremely stiff and I would never make a top out of them. I still love them though because they're wool and I love wool. You can felt them and all kinds of stuff. But yes... Um, 
I would definitely, it's not the softest one up here, but I would definitely make a top out of it. But then again, it's not 100% cotton, you know, it's got silk in it. It's got, you know, the polyamide, visco. So they're classified as a three weight and there are, it's a 200 gram ball, 600 meters. So we got 660 yards of, of a DK there. They're saying it's a DK. I'm going to say it's a lighter side of a DK. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's the lighter side of a D DK. But 660 yards, you have to remember that. Now, Noro is a very expensive yarn. Um, that's why I say some people either like it or they don't, you know, because they either feel it's worth it or they don't. And that's up to each individual to determine itself. Um, it says that name right there. And what it is means it's Japanese and it means shaved iced ice dessert mm, it's very pretty um so they got a lot of pretty colors well they got a few pretty colors they do you know i might already have a hand i might already have a ball list not this color though i like it i like it i do now, now careful I'm, uh, okay on this one now remember you know it's always worth what you'll pay for it this is 44.95 a ball but that's in line with noro that's just what noro is noro is that type of yarn, you know. Um, it has a very good backstory. Noro does. They have a really good story. So I'm not going to really take the time to read it. But maybe one day you could look it up if you're not familiar with Noro. This, I think, I did get two balls of it at 660 yards. The DK weight, lighter side of a DK weight. Yeah. I'm definitely going to use that. Um, I think I could probably get myself a... A top out of it maybe a lacy top that I could wear a tank or something underneath yeah that's what I'm gonna do with it it's so beautiful I love Noro a lot and I know like I said it's a very controversial yarn you either love it or you hate it because you think it's overpriced I'm just one of those ones that really really love Noro I don't know why I do it's so beautiful gosh that's pretty that is a pretty pretty yarn that's not a knot in it in case you just twist it up there I go on about Noro all day long but I don't want to make my video so long. But I did get 25% off that. Um, which, you know, eases that uh, pain just a little bit. So I got two of them. And they were uh, 30 about $33 a piece. So, you know, that's not bad for a normal, actually. With that much yardage. And the fiber content is nice. It's a nice fiber content for, for a normal. That's nice. I like it. Please don't judge me. Because... Of this yarn. I like Noro. I always have. Um, and I know it is It is what it is, you know? You like yarns and you don't like yarn. I can't, I can't really explain it. So, what is overpriced to someone else is not overpriced to someone else. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You like it. You like it. I'm not even going to justify that purchase. I like Noro and I bought it. All right, there's the other one. It's beautiful yarn. It's 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 very very pretty. Um, these most of these have been exceptional. Um, I'm almost done. Well, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty. Um, what is this? What is this I'm looking at? Okay, this is from Marisol again. Pima Curry. So we got some more Pima up in here. My favorite. Pure Peruvian Pima cotton. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color of gold or goldy bronze. I don't know what you call it, but Dijon mustard. Honey mustard, honey mustard, honey, honey mustard. Okay, let me pull this up and we'll look at it. Oh, it doesn't look like it was very... 669 for this. Okay, so in the picture, it appears to be a chain spun or a blown yarn. So let's look at that closer. In just a second so it is a 100% pima cotton uh, 208 yards um, 190 meters per hank and there are it is a four-way they said six dollars and 69 cents it's on sale right now this is the only color they have left but by golly that would have been the color I would have picked anyways it's called a bay leaf Yeah, they only had four colors anyways. Yeah, this definitely would have been a color I would have chose for a hat. That beautiful. That's that's pretty. So they say on here it, that it's a four weight. On the tag, they say it's a three weight. Let's see which one's right, shall we? 
Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's see. You guys make your own judgment on that, okay? You call it. I think they're both right. I'm going to say it's a light four weight. How about that? It's a thick three light four. It's a thick three light four. That's my, that's my call. They're both right. How does it feel? Oh, I was going to see what it was here. So this is actually how it was spun. Because in the picture it looked chain spun. No, it's not. It's not. It's a twist yarn. See that? See all the plies? It's a high twist. It's high twist. It's twisted very tightly. So tightly. I mean, it's nice that it's, that it's got a uh, tight twist on it. It's twisted so tight with so many fibers that it looked chain spun in its picture in the picture okay for a pima how does it feel okay how that's the true test is a garment worthy cotton yes i would wear something made out of it is it the softest pima i've ever felt because remember pima is my favorite no but it is a very soft pima cotton um trying to compare it to the other Pimas up here. It's, it's, it's garment worthy. And it being on sale for $6.69, you can only get this color. I think that is worth that. Yes, definitely. For 208 yards of a uh, light four, thick three. Definitely. This would be a, a hat for me. Uh-huh. During the summer. I like it. I do. Some type of brimmed hat for the summer. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I like that. Very, it's a garment worthy, yeah. But not the softest Pima I've ever felt, no. But that doesn't matter because, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I felt a lot of Pimas. Pimas is a soft cotton. But, you know, so, but this is, no. Yes, I would wear it against my skin. I would make a top out of it and wear it and it, it wouldn't bother me at all. So, yes, definitely worth the six sixty nine they're asking. It's 13 on a regular. Mm. All right. Let me move on. I'm moving on, I'm moving on. What's this? Oh, it's Barico again. Pima 100. <laughs> I'm putting the Pima to the test because my favorite brand of yarn just happens to be Pima 2. My favorite brand of cotton just happens to be Pima. Of course it is. Of course, of course it is. Okay. This is a Barico Pima 100. 100% Pima cotton, 219 yards, 200 meters, and they're classifying this as a four weight yarn. Okay. The color I have here is called the uh, Goat's Beard. Adorable name. So let's check out their uh, four weight, shall we? Let's see if they're saying it's a four weight or not. There we go. Mm. I'm gonna say that's like a three. But whatever you guys think, that's why I always show it on my hand, you know? So you guys can judge yourself. Everybody sees it different. To me, that's a three though. It feels fine. Uh, it feels like a Pima cotton. Yes, it does. Um, they want, it's 1350. I did get 25% off of that though. So, I think that, yes, it's a definitely a garment-worthy cotton. Mm -hmm. It's soft. It's nice. Um, is, it be, is it softer than my, than my favorite Pima? No, it's not. But it's still very nice and very soft, like most Pima cotton is, I have to say. Um, it's a very nice garment-worthy cotton. 1350, 220 yards. I'd probably buy it again and make a top out of it. Yeah, I probably would. You want a good cotton? You know, you, you gotta pay a little, sometimes you gotta pay a little bit more for a, a Pima cotton's a nice cotton yarn. So, yeah, definitely. They got a lot of pretty colors too. Yeah, I would definitely, you know, full price is thirteen fifty. but if I buy enough, you know, I get 20% off or 25% off. And yeah, I would definitely go back and buy enough to make a top out of it. One of these I'm going to go back and make, make a top out of it, but I don't know which one yet. But yeah, that's nice. Very garment worthy. I like that. I think it's worth what they want. I think it's worth it. Okay. Okay. I got just a couple more in here. Dude. So this is a Cascade Ultra. 
Alter Pima. I've had this one before. Now, I've had this one many times, many, many times before. Um, Cascade. Ultra Pima. Cascade has a Pima, and then they have an Ultra Pima. You know. What, where is it? This is so much easier. There it is. Okay. To. Okay. This wasn't on sale, but I did get 25% off of it. I probably could have found it cheaper elsewhere, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. So this is a 100% Pima cotton. It is 219 yards of a DK, DK slash light worsted. So they're saying that it's in between a two and a, or a three and a four. Now I've used this many times, or I, I've had this many times. I've used it a few times. I've always considered that not to be anything close to a four. I always considered it to be more of in between a two and a three weight. Now, but you can judge yourself on that. Um, now, this one has a sheen on it. It's very shiny. Can you see that? Um, that's one thing about the uh, Ultra Pima or the Cascade Pima Ultra. It has uh, that uh, sheen on it that is uh, is different than, than other Pima cottons, you know. Um, I've never had a problem with this cotton. I never have, other than it's a little bit lighter of a weight than what they say. I think that it is anyways. But after feeling all these other cottons that I've never felt before, is it garment worthy? Yes, this is a garment worthy cotton. It always has been. Mm -hmm. I would never buy it and make wash rags out of it. No. Is it the softest Pima cotton up here that I've shown you today? Is it the softest cotton up here that I've shown you today? No, it's not. It's not. In fact, it is probably... I don't have a problem with it, okay? Because it's Pima cotton. Pima cotton is a soft cotton. But out of all the Pimas that I showed you, it is the least softest of the bunch that I've shown you today. But, um, like I said, I've had it many times. Used it a few times. Um, other than it being lighter than what they say, I don't have a problem with it. I think it has... The sheen on it is very beautiful. And it's... A garment worthy cotton of course because most pimas are i would say yes but no it's not the softest pima up here all right um mm -hmm. okay i got okay i do have like i said i do have a top five favorite brands of yarn and i will tell you this is in the top five this this is juniper moon farms now this is not a pima cotton this is actually my second favorite cotton. This is a Mako cotton, all right? Now, there's a big difference between a Pima and a Mako. This is soft. It's a different soft than a Pima, and I will do my best to explain it. It's hard to explain things without you without you being, you know, here to touch, touch it, you know? Um, so, this is a yeah. 94 percent it's a mako cotton um juniper moon almost always uses a mako cotton and six percent nylon 200 250 yards and they're classifying as a four weight yarn now juniper moon is not a, the cheapest brand of yarn either um, good golly i'm sorry about my dogs aren't they something else so they're classifying this as a four weight and that's a nice thick four on the verge becoming a bulky five um, now this will be a, uh, chain spawn, as most of the time it always is, yes. It is a chain spawn Mako cotton. Now, when I say Mako, in the feel, the difference between Mako cotton and regular cotton and like Pima cotton, Egyptian cotton, Mako is extremely soft in a different way. It feels like, um, the best way I can describe Mako cotton is like microfiber soft like pima is soft in a different manner this i would say is soft like like plushy microfiber you want to make a blanket and cuddle with it soft you know that's how mako cotton is uh, not all <laughs> but most of it is you know you get a good one it's nice soft i want to make a blanket and cuddle with this cotton 
Is it garment worthy? Oh my gosh, 100%. Okay, it's 100% garment worthy cotton. Um, it's going to wear differently though than, a, than any of these other ones, say as opposed to the regular cotton, the Egyptian cotton and the Pima. This one will wear a little bit uh, warmer. Even though it is chain spun and it's a Mako cotton, the, it's going to feel a little bit warmer against your skin which isn't bad, especially if you want to wear something, you know, you want to make a top or something, but it's cooler outside still, but still, you know, not, not, it's cooler, but not cold, you know, you are not hot. I don't know how to explain it. It's cooler out and you want, uh, but you want a little bit of warmth or something. This is a magnificent yarn. Um, and I have, had, you know, I, I've had this <laughs> before. So yes. Um, 250 yards and you see that uh that that uh it's a very thick four but remember it is a chain spun so it, you know it could stretch a bit while you're using it but still it is a nice four-way yarn but is it ever soft it, you know it's a cumulus <sighs> israeli amako cotton with a touch of nylon for strength Mm -hmm. um, number four, told you all that hand wash, all that stuff. Uh, most of this cotton's gonna be uh, lay flat. This is called color number fourteen, the Lancelot. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, I can't really, I can't really <laughs> um, compare a Mako to a Pima. I can't do it. Um, they were just two totally different cottons. I can't. I love Pima cotton. It's so, so nice. And I love Mako for different reasons. Like, like I said, this is like, I, if I, I wouldn't make a blanket out of this and just cuddle up with it because it's just so soft, like, like a plushy blanket would be, that's how Mako cotton is. It's just, it's just like that. A good Mako. Um, now Pima, you know, is, is, is a nice, is a nice cotton yarn, but it's not really one, you know, I'd wear it. I'd wear it, of course. But I probably wouldn't make a blanket and want to cuddle up with it. Well, it's soft, you know, but not in comparison to a Mako. It's just, it can't really, it's different. It's different. So definitely 100% garment worthy. But just remember, it's going to make a little bit uh, a different, so it's going to be, going to be a little bit uh, different feeling than a Pima. Um, definitely great for baby blankets and whatnot, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Baby items, 100%. I would recommend the Mako cotton versus a Pima. But I would still use Pima on baby too, especially dresses. I make all my daughter's dresses, my Mako dresses now. I always make them out of my favorite Pima down there. We're still going to see if it's still my favorite after this. Um, I would say, though, if I wanted to make her a cardigan, um, maybe for spring when it's still a little cool out but not hot, I would use, like... This, this Mako right here. Yeah. It's super soft. You want to make a newborn baby a blanket and you want it to be out of cotton. There you go. You want to make hats um, for people maybe that are going through chemo. There you go. That's what you want to use. Pima would be excellent as well. But this is going to be a, a different type of soft. I mean... I just wish I could explain it better other than it just feels so microfibery and plushy. Um, super soft. Pima super soft too. Just in like a slicker, more not microfibery way. That's the best way I can explain it. I love this. So it's very nice. It is $21.95 Hank. Um, definitely to me, that is worth every penny. I love every bit of the Cumulus yarn. I've used it many, many, many times. Nice, nice stuff. It's, it's a very, that's why it's one of my favorite brands of yarn, Juniper Moon. They don't just make Mako cotton, but their Mako cotton is probably the best that I've ever felt out of any brand. So, yes. But I did get 25% off of that. You know, that always helps. It always helps. That's beautiful. It's a nice cotton. Okay. I got one left in here. Now, this one is my favorite brand of cotton. This is what I use to make my daughter's dresses out of. And maybe you guys are already going to know it. It is Malabrigo. My number two favorite brand of yarn. Malabrigo of Verano. 
It is a 100% Pima cotton. Okay. okay. Uh, that's some nice cottons up here. I can't, I cannot tell you that there isn't. Um, so you got some stiff competition here, uh, Malabrego, or do you? I will say though, right off. Ooh, they got such pretty colors too. So this is 100% Pima, um, 205 yards, 187 meters, and now they do classify that as a DK weight yarn. Used this many, many times. Made my daughter many, many dresses out of this. And it is a perfect DK. But if you ask me, everything about Malabrego is perfect. Maybe I'm a bit biased. I don't know. The smell is wonderful of a Malabrego yarn. It's always identifiable. Gosh. This one's called Macchiato. So that is a very, very pretty hank of yarn. Um, and it's 1560. That's about what the Verano runs everywhere you go. In between 15 to $18, you'll find it. I did get 25% uh, off of that, though. Look at that. Uh, macchiato. I like the uh, tonal there. A beautiful, beautiful Pima, Pima yarn. Very, very garment worthy. I've made, like I said, I've made myself tops out of it, and I've made my daughter many dresses out of it. And when I make her dresses to this day, this is the yarn that I always use. Um, but you know, it is my favorite. So I got it in a couple different colors. Uh, this one's called Cyberspace. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I like that. Very neutral gray. Um, that will be a beautiful hat. Beautiful summer hat. It's very pretty. It has a slight sheen on it too, but it's nothing in comparison to the Ultra Pima. Slight sheen. It's a little tonal too. You see that? Very pretty. Very pretty. And I, I, I always see this on, but I've never, like, bought it because it looks so bright on the website. And I'm like, I'm going to buy a couple hanks. And heck, if it's super bright, it's super bright. It's pretty bright, but it's, it's, it's pretty. This one is called Fireworks. Ooh, look at that. That is... I don't know what to say about that. Um, that's bright. It's like a reddish orange, um, as you can tell. It is very pretty, um, and it's very soft. And it smells very much like Malabrigo, a smell that I love so much. Um, all right, so these last three were the Malabrigo Verano, which I have always said is my number one favorite um, cotton yarn. Um, will I still say that after feeling all these? I don't know. Will I? Okay. So we do have some different types of yarn here. So I cannot, I cannot really put a Mako cotton in with a Pima. It's a cotton all of it on its own. Okay. It's just so different. I don't even know why I bought this to tell you the truth, because it's not even in the, the I can't even classify it with the rest of these cottons. It's super soft. It's super nice. You get this, you would never be disappointed with that yarn. I guarantee you that. No way would you be disappointed. Okay, so some of these are not Pima, all right? So out of all the Pimas that I have felt today, let me give them a, a little fill over here. Dum, 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 dum. Mm, nothing can beat the Malabrego Verano for me. Number one, still, is the champ of Pima cotton. But remember, that's only through my eyes, okay? It doesn't mean that any of these yarns are not good because... Pima yarn is nice, but some is softer than others, but almost all of it is soft. Um, I only, f yeah, that, that, that's the Pimas, I'm feeling them all. I'm going to put the Pimas in order right now. Yes, uh, um, out of the Pimas, uh, Malabrigo Verano. It's still the champ in my eyes. Da, 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 it's crown king. King Pima, I knew it would be. I, there was no doubt that any of these would beat it. In my mind, I knew nothing would be that. I knew it. 
But there were some close contenders. Let's look at the Pimas again. I'm going to give them a quick feel. Oh my gosh, they're just... Uh, I'm leaving out these ones that aren't Pima. As shocking as it is to me to tell you the truth, <laughs> this is number two. The Barico Pima 100. That is a nice, soft Pima cotton. I would say that's the second softest of the Pima. And I actually would not expect that from Barico because their alpaca sucks. I mean, it's, it's okay. I love alpaca yarn. Um, it's my second favorite fiber in the entire world. And one time I got the Barico 100% alpaca and I'm like, this sucks. So I wasn't expecting much from their Pima. But actually, yes, this would come in as number two out of the Pimas that we have here. Um, and actually, now I'm just speaking Pima, number three would be the second Barico, the, the Pima Soft. I'm pleasantly surprised with the Barico, actually. Um, and number four would be the Plymouth Pima Rhino, as far as softness goes. And the last, oh, oh, no, no, okay. Uh, let me feel here. Then we go with Cascade Ultra Pima. And then the last of the Pimas is going to be the uh, Marisol Pima Curry. But it's, like I said, it's still a Pima. It's still a very nice soft yarn and very garment worthy. Even though it's not the softest Pima up here, remember, it's still a Pima yarn. And I don't think I've ever felt, felt a Pima that I did not like. Um, like I said, some are softer than others. I just rated them for you. My Labrego, nothing beat it. Nothing, nothing has. This was fun. Maybe I'll do it again one day. But yes, I was, this is, this is second. This is a nice, close, well, not close, maybe, maybe. It's just second. It's second to my Labrego. That's nice. I like that. Um, and this other bar Barico, I don't really like that loose twist, twist on it, but it's still soft. And you know what? I'm going to give these two tied for third place. The Plymouth uh, Rhino and the Pima, Barico Pima Soft. They're both really nice. And I would, I don't think I could choose one over the other. As far as softness goes, they're both really soft. But if I was going to pick one to make a top with it, I would pick this one only because I don't like the look of that twist. But softness wise, there's really not much of a difference. They're both really nice soft. So those are going in at third. Okay, fourth for the Pima would be the Cascade Ultra Pima. And then the fifth, even though it made fifth, it's still a nice Pima cotton as a Marisol. All right, let's talk about these other cottons real quick before I go. Um, the uh, the ones that are not Pima. Okay, the Mako's out of question. I didn't get no other Mako. That Mako is on its own. It's just Mako, all right? It's, it's hard to beat. Juniper Moon Farms Mako cotton when it comes to Mako. So here we got these other cottons. I'm not really sure. Okay, we got uh, the Jody Long and the Marisol Una. It's interesting. And then we have the Ella Ray. Okay. I can rate them in order right now. This one is the softest of these three. This is actually a very soft cotton yarn. Um, it's, I think it's because it's blown. It's a blown cotton. I think that's what's making it so soft. It's fuzzy feeling. And I like that. Um, very soft, very garment worthy. Um, it's nice. Yes, you would not be disappointed if you got that. But like I said, it, is, it does see the fuzzies. That's because it's blown. And I think that's what's given it that advantage of being softer than these others. Uh, but these two, uh, this one is, is soft. It's not after feeling all that pima it's definitely not as soft as it was in the beginning but yes it's definitely a garment worthy cotton uh-huh yes I, i'd wear a top out of it i think maybe being chain spun is giving it an advantage as well but no it's not bad it's not about cotton yes um this one after the feel of all the pimas the l array I'm going back to classifying it as a mediocre, you know, I'd probably make war rags out of it. And then again, I still might wear it as a top. So it's just kind of in the middle for me. It is a pretty color. It will be a hat. I'm going to make a hat of it. It's definitely that. 
And then the nifty cotton. No, no, no. That was the only uh, kitchen cotton that we had, wasn't it? Nifty. I did not like that. I don't like it. So it's like peaches and cream cotton that you get at Walmart. Oh, and the Rowan. I don't know. Rowan, I'm sorry. Yeah. Kitchen cotton. Kitchen cotton. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't buy it for the kitchen because it's so much dang money. But I wouldn't want to make a top out of it. I don't. It's just too... It's not my style. I love the color, though. It's pretty. Sorry, Rowan. You can't win them all. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. Oh, and I'm not going to put the, uh, the uh, Noro in there because, you know, it's only 50% cotton mixed with silk and viscose. It's, it's soft, you know, but, you know, it's not, we're rating cottons here. It then it's only 50%. I'm going to make a top out of it, though, if that gives you any indication. But it's not as soft as a Pima, though. But it's still a very garment-worthy cotton, I think. Is that it, right? Oh, no, we forgot this one. Cascade socks. It's nice, too. It feels soft. It does. Really soft. Garment-worthy? I'm going to call it in the middle, probably. Yeah, it's garment-worthy. More than the LRA is. <laughs> but I think I bought this with the intentions of either a shawl, but maybe a top. I don't remember. I don't know. It's nice, though. I mean, it's not bad. Okay, and that's that's what I got, man. Juniper Moon is so nice. Gosh, I love Juniper Moon's Mango Cotton. The Cumulus, man. <laughs> that's what I got. Sorry, my video was so long. And then you remember the, the non-cotton yarns I got. Beautiful. The Yellow Bay. Or the uh, Atlanta Grossa. Yes. And then the Celery is stunning. I just gotta either work two together or find someone that likes to work with yarn that thin. I had such a good time rating those cottons. And when I was picking them out, I wanted to pick out cottons that I never had before because I really wanted to put Malabrego to the test because I mean I've never found a Pima cotton because Pima's my Pima's my favorite and Mako's my second although I really can't classify it like that but like I said because Mako was such a different variety it's such a different feeling cotton it should be on its own it's like all right so Malabrego Verano is my favorite Pima cotton Juniper Moon Cumulus is my favorite Mako cotton. How about that? Both are extremely garment worthy. I make my daughter dresses out of Malabrego Verano all the time, and I've made myself tops out of it. This, this would be a, I just can't explain it. It would just be wrap a baby up in it, you know? Definitely make a top out of it. But it's just going to wear a little bit warmer, even though it's cotton, than a Pima. Because of the few. Soft. Soft. Very nice. I had such a good time. That was so fun. But even though I picked out all those cottons. And I picked out some pretty ones I thought that might be good contenders. Malabrego I knew would win in the end for me. It could be because I'm biased. But I really think it's the softest. I do. But that Barraco 100 is... Mm, nice i did not expect that that they were all they were all the other than the ones that i said weren't they were all very nice pima cottons so all very garment worthy i'm gonna go i've talked your leg off that was so much fun i have to do that again sometime maybe next time i'll do it with alpaca because i have a favorite alpaca too it's Judith from moon farms but i might be able to find some that's close to it Maybe next time. I hope you guys had fun. Because I sure did. <sighs> Malibu, go for the win. I knew it, though. <laughs> Bye, guys.